Hello guys and welcome to Python Programming Tutorials by Amuls Academy. Today in this tutorial we are discussing about how to print stars in alphabetical M shape. This code is also similar to the previous pattern programs. So let's begin with the code. And here is our output and here we can see stars in different row and column. To print stars in different row and column we are using two for loops. One is to print stars in the row and another one is to print stars in the column. And here we can see 7 rows and 7 columns in our output. So here in our code we can see the for loop it is to print stars in the row. Here row is the variable name and we are using range function. And here I will mention 7 that is range is from 0 to 7 because there are 7 rows are there in our output. Next, inside that we are taking another for loop. It is to print stars in the column. Here call is the variable name. And here I will mention 7 because in the output there are 7 columns are there. So it will take range from 0 to 7. Inside that we are taking if else conditional statement. That is we want to print stars in alphabetical M shape. To print that we need condition. That's why we are using if else conditional statement. And here after if keyword we need to mention the condition that is in which row and column you want to print star. So for that we will see the output. First we will divide our output into different parts. Then it will be easy to write condition for that. So first here we want to print star at column 0 and column 6. Okay, this is my first part. It is we want to print star at column 0 and column 6. Next here we can see these three stars. Next these two stars. Alright. So first we will write the condition for this column 0 and column 6. We want star at column 0 and column 6 in each row. Right. So first condition will be i'll check whether column is equal to 0 or column is equal to equal to 6 here i use logical or operator because if any one of this condition is true then it will print star okay that's why i used logical or here so next here we can see these three stars here at row 1 column 1 we want to print star row 2 column 2 we want to print star row 3 column 3 we want to print star here we can say when row is equal to equal to column we want to print star here we can see row 1 column 1 row 2 column 2 row 3 column 3 so to print these three stars we'll write condition like when row is equal to equal to column we want to print star but at that time column should be 1 2 3 that is it should be greater than 0 and less than 4. So my next condition will be. I will check whether row is equal to equal to column. Then I want to print star. But at that time column should be greater than 0 and column should be less than 4. Okay, this is my next condition where I will check whether row is equal to equal to column then I want to print star but at that time column should be greater than 0 and less than 4. Now we are done with these stars, these stars and these three stars. Now we are left with these two stars. So to print these two stars I will mention their position that is row 1 column 5 row 2 column 4. Okay. So, I'll check row is equal to equal to 1 and column is equal to equal to 5. If it is true, I want to print star there or row is equal to equal to 2 and column is equal to equal to and here column. Okay, so this is my condition to print star in alphabetical M shape. First I will check whether column is equal to 0 or column is equal to 6. 
if it is true then i want to print star in each row okay next i'll check whether row is equal to equal to column if it is true then at that time column should be greater than 0 and less than 4 okay next condition will be i'll check whether row is equal to 1 and column 5 if it is true then i want to print star there next i'll check whether row is equal to 2 and column is equal to 4 if it is true then i want to print star there okay and here inside the if body we can see print star end empty string that is if this condition becomes true then it will print star here in the print by default end value will be slash n but in our output we don't want any space or new line between the stars in one row so i mentioned end is equal to empty string here and next if this condition become false then it will go to this statement and it will print space here we can see space right this is all because of the execution of else part next inside the first for loop that is inside this for loop we are using print this is for new line that is after printing stars in one row we want to go to the next line so for that we are using this print now we are done with our code so we need to save this and run this and here we can see the stars in alphabetical m shape okay that's it for now thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe my channel i'll meet you in next class till then take care